We showed you the Paulson Stack Nelson, one of my great coaches. Now I'm gonna show you the Hume Stack Nelson, another one of my great coaches, uh, Matt Hume, named after him, the, the wizard of MMA. So in this case, we wanna trap this near side arm again. And instead of having that inside leg shooting through, we want the outside leg to capture. A couple ways we can do that, like we did before on the Nagata Lock 2, we could step up and bait them to grab the leg, right? He grabs it, and I start working to extend that leg, that arm and leg away. Another way we can do it is similar to how we inserted our leg by removing the weight off of this one, or uh, uh, similar to how we inserted our leg for the Paulson Stack Nelson. I'm going to move him forward, get this hand out so it's extended, then scoop it with my heel. So now that arm is nice and extended, and now he has no post there anymore. He has to post on his head. As soon as he posts on his head, that's exactly what we're looking for. As soon as you start looking down, you're exposed. What you want to do is switch so that this leg is now hooking that that arm underneath to allow him to rotate. Palm, power half, drive him through. And as he's being driven through, I'm gonna clear this elbow back and get to here. Oh shit. This... Now if he rolls up on his shoulders, that's fine. Now I pull that head up oh, and to me. That's some dungeon shit. <laughs> I'm here, I scoop, clear, peel this apart, peel this apart, peel this apart. Even if he doesn't go up onto his head, onto his shoulders, I stay here. Right, and I keep driving and I'm creating that tension on his neck. All right, get away from me. I want this. That's the Hume Stack Nelson.